right now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. If you ain't a winner, then don't come round. On my way to another city, it's a touchdown. Under late, yeah, I gotta get it in a rush now. Let them hate, try to knock me down, but we got up now. You say that you ballin', keep it real, though. Hey, why I never saw you in the field, though? Hey, I make it look easy, it's a field goal. I've been grinding for a minute and I'm still going. How fit it be the boss? Let me find out. My team bowling, you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'ma shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. How fit it be the boss? Let me find out. My team bowling, you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'ma shine out. Okay, Coach, thank you. We are about 4,300 miles away from you there in Orlando as we come to you from the... Okay, Coach, thank you. We are about 4,300 miles away from you there in Orlando as we come to you from the European home of the NFL, London, England. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New Orleans Saints and the London Monarchs. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Mike, 19! Right there in the middle, 55. Ready? 56, 56! They'll run for the first time with Philip Lindsay. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. On second down, a run with Lindsay. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there.
A tough five, spot eight. here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. He finds Beckham complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Check. Check. 55 to Mike. Man, I got you. Half 85, half 85. Flair, flare, flare. Check. Check. They'll try the draw, Lindsay. And an alley to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Throwing on first down is Allen. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll get it down on the plate of the 37. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Shotgun snap, and again to Lindsey. And he gets it down to the 32. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Lindsey. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. You bet. From the gun, it's Allen. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. To the air, Allen. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. The sack coming from defensive end Cameron Jordan. And the sack parade continues. Remember last week, they had an astounding eight sacks, another one there on the opening drive. And they have the mentality of just attacking the quarterback in the pocket, no matter what. They're one of those teams that says, we play the run on our way back to the quarterback, and that philosophy works for them very well. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. here on first down rolling to his right he's got his big tight end fan he'll get Let's 15 and a saints out. first down as a general rule offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football but sometimes they just have to get on the run get on the move he was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Kamara. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Sick guy, 
Check. Quick zone, travel. Set, go. Two. On second down, Kamara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. Well, another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. On third down, block. And that will be incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. So make some room next to Tom Dempsey on the NFL's all-time field goal distance leaderboard. That's going to go down officially as a 63-yarder. Let's not forget about David Akers, Jason Elam, and Sebastian Janikowski, too. So now Matt Prater at 64 has got a little bit of company up near the top spot. That was one heck of a kick right there. Mike the offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal go. that they got three points out go. of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Now a carry for Lindsey. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. First and 10 at the 46 yard line. Check, 55. Hey, Fox truck, Fox truck. Allen off the play fake. This one complete to the running back, Lindsey. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. Allen going to come to the line here, first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. That throw good for four. It's second down. A gain of four. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. A run with Lindsey out of the gun. He'll be taken down well behind the line, and I think he might have just given those four yards right back. That second down play, that's a minus four.
coming up at halftime. We'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Allen now on third down. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. And the kick by Elliott is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. So we're trading first-half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We've got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. Throwing again on second down. Lock looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Lamb. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, his second touchdown on the season. And once again, the Saints are back out in front. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead, it's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown there. Hey, looking forward. Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does. Allen hit. He lost the football. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the Marty other 19. direction, downfield, or have moved Marty away 19. from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Taking a shot for Samuel. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, as they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. This one taken from the seven. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit. That's caught inside the 20. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. A big play there. 
His third touchdown now on the year. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. Lutz with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This will be taken in at the one. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, in a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ryan Shazier. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration hey, by him to react 70, to it and pull 80. in the interception. Hey, hey, good starting field ahead. position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. On second down, here's Locke. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 11 yards there, first down. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. 18 Gator. Hey, 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 hey! Running with Camara. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch it up. Yeah, a quick throw here. That's complete. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They run it again with Kamara. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. They have three yards on first down, just one yard there. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Here we go. Hey, Alpha. A3's me. A3's me. Single receiver. Single receiver. Hey, you're on an island over there. Single receiver. Mike 5-5. Five five, Mike 55. Mike 5-5. Five five. Rip left. Rip left. Check this move. Check 55 to Mike. Let's go, D. From the gun on third down, Locke. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, this from 37. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. But not only do I give that staff high marks for fortitude, but how about the execution of that play? 
letting the rush get upfield. Wait till it gets there, and then shovel it inside to the tight end to pick up a first down off of that field. It looked pretty. I love the little shovels. Get the tight end involved. Pick it up. And he put it right on him, too, didn't he? he Let did. him get upfield well. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Kamara trying again. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you, you want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. We own it. We go. They'll try to run it in. It's Kamara. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. A loss of a yard. Brings up fourth down. Hey, 54. Wait. Mike, Mike, 49. Check pass, check pass. Hey, Wahoo. 49. All day, dog. They'll go for it. It's locked. And that is going to be incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the ball will go over on the goal line stand. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. And they will have the football deep in enemy territory all the way at the 10 yard line. We got the sound. Eight read. Mike 49. Mike 49. Now. Kamara. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It'll be a pickup of four. And it winds us down to the end of the third quarter. Easy work. It's easy work. It's coming Three quarters have come and gone. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Again, it's Camaro. And he'll barrel his way into the end zone for a Saint touchdown. Alvin Camara. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash in for six. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From the gun, Allen. Throw left side complete. That's Lindsey. Give him seven on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and lead the game out that way. 
They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure, the backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. Allen now looks to throw. And it is incomplete. A fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Kamara off the draw, and he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty's not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. On first and 10, here's Locke. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Throwing now is locked. This is the tight end fan. That catch good for five. It's third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right, got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. It's a five-receiver set, three to the left, two to the right. Lock going to try and throw on third down. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Alert, alert, alert. On third and long, it's Allen. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fielded at the 33. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10.
The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, or broadcaster? No, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won every game as a player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out, and no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that, you know, a team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. The team put 70 on their opponent. And then the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before now is dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? As the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there and how it all happened. Well, obviously that begs the question, what game was it? That was Seattle hey, hey, hey. hosting Los Angeles, the Rams. Ah, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from the first one and blew out the Seahawks. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size... This intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. come to my world. We want it. Come to my world. Let's go and that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game. Like, And he's going to be intercepted a third time. He's picked off near his own 48. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal and never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling no again. you don't want that feeling again and who knows you may meet up with this team again one play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. he's not gonna get me now allen he's gonna let it fly and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today Picked off at the 14, and he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Philip Lindsay, the intended target. His guys take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. 
and in none of them hey, hey, did the hey, starting hey. quarterback ever come out of the game for the Mike, team that had a big lead. And in right each there, instance, I asked the coaches Defense. later on, Defense. why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one or thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for New Orleans... Up and up is magic. With the gang, we ball out and can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror now, I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dreams reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laughing. Now I hit the scene, they like lights, camera action. In a dream, now my music they be blasting. Step out, I'm a star, always in the latest fashion. Had to set the bar, bar, try to catch me lacking. Bank account for my son, he won't have to struggle. You can see it in my eyes, all I do is hustle. They try to knock me off my feet, I'm ready to rumble. Feel like I ain't eight in weeks, working off the muscle. Oh yeah, oh my, we ride for my brothers, no lie. All you, all you can die, never wrong, they right. I ain't changing my side. Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. 
loving for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dreams reality, not going back to track to you say that you proud of